Look at this. On the road again, Jimmy. <laughs> In Barcelona. We've made it. We took the taxi. Jimmy's feeling a million times better. Look and, at it. And you are feeling what? Worse. <laughs> Uh, how many beers too many? About 12. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning. Today is going to be dedicated to getting home. Basically, we've got a flight tomorrow. One of the most asked questions from you guys was how do you pack up your bikes on the other end of a bike packing trip if you've thrown away the cardboard boxes? The solution is in this video and it's just <laughs> getting more boxes. <laughs> how are you? Um still a bit tired. I, I, I feel like a person again. It was quite funny that today was the day that you were bed bound and I was the one going out to get food. But it was nice that I was capable of going out to get food. First stop in getting all the materials we need to pack up these bikes is the hardware shop or what I think looks like a hardware shop. I don't speak Spanish. First time cycling in Barcelona since about five years ago where I was here for Red Hook Crit. This is amazing. The infrastructure is so so good. successful mission we now need to drop these bikes back to the hotel and then I asked some people very very nicely for two cardboard boxes from a pretty cool bike shop who happened to stock Villiers. Checking it's still there. Right, give, giving way to whatever's going straight forward. That's the rule change they're trying to get brought into the UK at the minute. You always have to give way to what is going straight. Something like that. So first thing you want to do is conveniently book your hotel near the location where you're going to pick up boxes. We messaged this bike shop in advance. They very kindly said yes, you can have a couple of boxes. And if you can, go with bike shops first before you start kind of trying to fashion non-bike boxes into things you can use because they're already the right size, they're already the right shape, and they've probably got some extra packing inside that we can use to protect the frames. If we need some pipe lagging. <laughs> Stealing it off. I mean, do not steal it, that's bad. Stealing is bad. <laughs> I recognize that bike. Hey. And that one. Hey. It's like being in my house. You don't really get people in bike shops in the UK, like, just browsing and stuff, do you? Hmm. Like, it's notorious that, like, clothing in bike shops is, like, dead. Like, dead money. They end up buying it, it doesn't sell them and they discount it as quick as they can. The thing is here, more people just ride bikes to get places. Yeah. And I think this kind of this shop, while they've got really nice high-end stuff, definitely caters for that too. So mm. it's just like normal stuff, isn't it? Normal commuting things. It's so different, isn't it? The like relationship. You know video did grips. That is the Philante SLR. Which is what? Top end air row one. Which one have you got? Well, I might have one of these soon. Oh, is it? Spoilers though. <laughs> New bike for Jimmy. It's too big for him. Why is it so far away? I'm like a person, a gigantic box, isn't it? I think it's going to end up good. It'll be better than my box by the end. Big shout out to Riders Boutique Barcelona for sorting us out these boxes. Very cool shop and the owners of the biggest box in the universe, which now Jimmy has. What was in there? It's like a penny farthing. It's actually smaller than the box I had to fly out with. Really? Because the other one was the same sort of size, but then like way thicker. Canny job that, mate. Smaller than your box, man. Huh? It literally is. It's better. The remnants of Jimmy's box. Another cool feature of the tail fin, if you need to carry your stuff onto the airplane, it comes with a strap so you can use it as a bag. We are now on the way to the airport. Keep your seatbelt fast whenever you are seated. When the seatbelt sign is. How much are you loving life right now? Quite a lot. Cool. It's refreshing. There's an abundance of food around us, the sun is shining. It is five degrees. Yeah, my favourite kind of degrees. Five of them. We are in Edinburgh because we couldn't get a flight back from Spain to Newcastle. So it's close enough. Just means we've got to get a train from here to thingy. And we just come off a tram. We've got these 
big boxes. Oh man, it's breakfast time. No way. Two of me. I'm now back home. That was a very, very unpleasant journey. I now have a big box in my house and I cannot be bothered to put my bike back together. It is now tomorrow and I genuinely feel like I've done a gym session after all that box carrying yesterday. We made it home safely though and the weather in the northeast is actually nicer than Barcelona. So win-win. Joking aside, that was a lovely trip and well worth lugging a box around for. I hope the tips about the packing a few days ago and the repacking of the bike was helpful to anyone who wants to do a similar trip. And I hope this trip served as quite a nice achievable adventure that you can do not that far from the UK. I know a lot of you guys are from the UK. As I know a lot of the bike packing trips I've done in the past have been quite long and intense like Australia, Vietnam. Sometimes you want to enjoy yourself with slightly less stress and Spain as we did there definitely is more along those lines as long as you avoid getting ill from poisonous donuts. If you guys would like to know anything more about the setups we used, how they performed, anything about the logistics of the trip, please put them in the comment section down below as well and I'll make sure to come back and answer. I'm gonna to end today's video here because I do in fact have a bite to put together. I'm gonna to do it today. I'm gonna to be productive because tomorrow I want to ride it. I've actually had a few days easy because uh, of the Jimmy illness. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.